Are you needing some relationship advice? I'm feeling really good about this connection that you have, right? Um, the relationship itself is pure, is it's so like, like the vastness of the sea and you just see this, it's so little, it's so like, it's so new that it has its own purities just because of that, right? And it's so perfect because the two of you have have done a lot of healing and have have risen above the sacral chakra. You, the two of you have risen above the sacral chakra, right? Above it, above the solar plexus into the heart. Like you've risen above that that survival instinct, right? Both of you are very spiritual people who have ascended and have reached a pinnacle peak in your journey that when you come together, the energy is just pure. Okay, so um, what you're going to need in the relationship is strength. You're going to need to gather strength. And I love this card because I see, yes, it's a gathering, but I see that as above, so below. You're going to need to ground and you're going to need to reach up and ascend and align like as above, so below. Um, and this isn't going to be something that's out there for everybody else to see, you know, like it's above, it's below the ground. Like this is, this is something you're going to keep quiet until the time is right. Right. And it's not even like both of you are mature enough to know that it's not about, you know, loving your lover out loud. It's more about feeling at peace with your journey and where you are and where you both are with when you want to, when you want to let it out into the world. Right. <clears throat> The issues, the issues or stuff that needs to be addressed in the relationship is gaslighting. And then the gaslighting, the number is 55. So there's stuff that needs to change, right? We all have a bit of ego that needs to be dissolved or um, different things that have happened to us, right? That I think that <clears throat> um, that's what you're going to need the strength for is so that when you see this ego become present in the relationship, you can meet it with that pure love and strength and, and, and maturity. Right. Um, so this relationship is going to provide to you like a, a maturity level beyond, beyond what you've ever experienced before, because you're both coming together at, you know, you know, you're both very spiritual people and you're, you're coming together, right? So, um, what's going to transpire in the relationship is surrender, which is great, right? Like when you have love and you surrender, you compromise, you, you care about someone enough to see their point of view, right? Um, so yes. And then the, I feel like there's 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 more to this because of the gaslighting right so this is more of a surrendering to yourself and not necessarily of the relationship of the of that person a surrendering of yourself to allow the space for this like if you look at this sacral well, the card right so you're allowing that space for it right in the sacral there's all of this fire element all around right like i feel burning fire and then like there's this this water element that comes in that that neutralizes right it, it's a it's a surrender it's it's the the yin and the yang right so this sacral energy um and then with with the outcome of this relationship the sacral which is the number six right mm. um and might I add that the surrender is 46, which equals 10. So that's like a completion. Um, so there is a bit of a karmic completion with the surrendering within this, this relationship. But, you know, on the outcome of this relationship, you got the sacral chakra, like I said, in that yin and that yang energy, right? The fire and the water and all of that. Like I'm, I'm seeing it hot and steamy. Look at all the steam coming up, right? Like she has this feminine, feminine fire energy where she's creative and then 
he is the king of cups and he brings this love this balance this pure this emotion to it and like it's like whoosh, right and you get all this steam coming up because there is a specialness there is a specialness about this couple um two star seeds two very spiritual driven people who have like i said already ascended in so many different levels that when they reach each other it's going to be pure and beautiful in the starry nights of the spiritual universe right I feel like you two are going to be looking up at the stars a lot. Look at the moon. Look at the stars. Right? So, if you like this message, hit the heart. Give me a comment. If you've got some comments, if you've got something you want to say, I'd love to hear it. If you'd like a relationship reading, I'm going to add relationship readings to my services. So if you'd like one, you should be able to order one by the end of this week. I'm gonna add that in there. Cause I really like it. I used to call it messy, but you know, we all need some advice sometimes, right? And by the way, it's just cards. So if you want something different, do something different. You can control and move the energies as if you need, I mean, really. So anyways, like and follow for more. Thank you for all the support over the years. Um, we'll have some more coming out soon.